friends welcome back to my channel my name is roshan and i'm back with another video in this video we are going to download and install windows 7 crux edition little info on windows 7 crux edition and uh, it's not by windows so it's a custom operating system tweaked to run on lower hardware so the requirements is one gigabyte of ram 16 gigabytes of storage and uh, Pentium 4 so if you have a PC which is lying around with the lower hardware and cannot run Windows 10 on it or Windows 8 on it then it's the best option you have and it uh, runs like a charm uh, it boots fast shutdowns fast restart is uh, great so most of the services which you are don't require normally and Windows Defender and such things are disabled by default so it performs more smoother it has native support for USB 3.0 and it can install third-party softwares so Windows 7 was a famous operating system I know a couple of people who still use Windows 7 even though they had the option to upgrade to Windows 10 if you have a thing for Windows 7 then this is it yeah if you are not interested in this video and you want to change the video or watch something else then I have lots of videos in my gallery you can watch that but please subscribe before going because I need to achieve a goal of 1000 subscribers as minimum threshold so without any further ado let's get started so head over to this website I'll provide the links down in the description. You can read the whole post, scroll all the way down and click on the download button. You can download the zip file from there. It's around 2.3 gigabytes. After you have completed download, you can resume this video and uh, double click and open the zip file. We have two files here. One is the bootable USB Rufus, which we are going to use for creating a bootable USB and we have the ISO file itself. So I will extract the ISO file to my desktop. So click on extract and select desktop. After extraction, plug in your USB, then we'll open the Rufus. So it should automatically detect your USB. Come down to the bottom and uh, you can see the ISO image. If not, make sure it's selected and uh, click on the icon here to select the ISO image. In our case, it's on desktop. So head over to desktop and select the ISO file. After that, click on start, click on OK. So it's going to take some time. Uh, I'll just fast forward it. So our bootable USB has been created. Now let's head over to our PC for further installation. First, make sure USB is plugged into your PC. Then power on your PC. In my case, I will just hit F2 to enter BIOS. This might differ from PC to PC. So you should check your manufacturer's website. Now head over to the boot priority menu. Make sure your USB is on top. Then click exit saving changes. Now the PC will boot from USB, let it restart. Now we can see Windows 8 logo, so don't worry, it's completely okay, the, they took it really wrong. Now you can see Windows setup with Crux theme and it says Windows 8, so that's also not an issue, so don't worry, just select the language to install. After that, click next. Click on install now. Now you need to accept the license agreement, after that click next. Now click on custom install as we are going for a clean install. Now select the partition where you want to install windows and uh, click format. So now the formatting is complete. Click next. Now the installation has started. I'm going to just fast forward this process. It's going to take some time. Now it will automatically restart or you can click on restart now button. Again, I will just fast forward this process. It's going to take some time. Now type a username for your PC. Click next. Now type in a password, confirm your password and uh, give a hint. Then click next. Now you can choose any of these options but I will go for recommended settings. Select your time zone if not detected automatically. In my case it's automatically detected. So I'll just click next. Now it's installing a couple of software like antivirus, uh, system care and uh, something like that. So you can choose to install them or you can click cancel to avoid that. So now let it complete the installation and we are booting for the first time to Windows 7 Crux Edition. Yeah, that's it. We have now successfully installed Windows 7 Crux Edition. So I hope this video was really helpful to you, informative and uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and uh, share this with your friends. Subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, please hit the bell notification icon so that you will get notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, please subscribe. I'm in really need of subscribers. I need to hit the minimum threshold of 1000 subscribers and that's my goal. So help me achieve that and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <music>